The Church of England launched a new project aimed at teaching faith through tech. Users can now ask Alexa to recite daily prayers or say grace. They can also ask life's big questions like, who is God? Take a look at this video released by the church to promote the new service. Mom! Alexa, ask the Church of England for a morning prayer. Let us pray. Alexa, ask the Church of England to say grace. Bless, O oh Lord, this food to our use and us in your service. Well, with me is Reverend Liz Clutterbuck, a Church of England priest. Thanks for joining us. Have you used it yet? Yes, I've had a bit of a play with it. Do you think it's going to be popular? Um, I think it will be within a certain section of the community. Um, Alexa exists uh, in one shape or form in about a quarter of the UK household, so it's a, it's a useful thing to have. And this is being launched because people are not going to church anymore, is that right? No, it's been launched um, as a new way of people getting in touch with some of the resources the Church of England has, and also to help them connect with their local church. Uh, as well as the prayers, it also has a function to tell you where your local church is. And why is this any different to, for example, going onto a website and, and find, you know, clicking your laptop and finding some prayers and just playing it? I think one of the things is ease of use. So as demonstrated in the clip there, you can just ask Alexa to say grace and all of a sudden there is a voice praying with you. And the, pray, the prayers are being prayed by real people. They're different voices. It's not Alexa's voice praying. So it's a way of inviting prayer into your home in a new way. Do you think it is something that people can literally just say or click into in normal everyday life? I mean, if you are feeding a, a young toddler, <laughs> having prayers filtering his kitchen, is, is that really going to be meaningful? Um, I think it is, because I think one of the things I've seen in my own church is particularly you know, busy parents trying to find ways in which to bring prayer into their li the life of their family. So actually, I think it's an ideal way of doing that. Is, is the church slightly behind other religions? Because I, I'm from a Hindu family and I know that, you know, my friends and family will share prayers and songs with me, for example, through WhatsApp, mm -hmm. obviously connecting to, to people in India. So is this perhaps a little late for the church? Um, I don't think so. We've had um, a Church of England app for several years. It's had 400,000 downloads um, globally. Uh, people use that to pray every day. Um, I think this is just a new way of using some new technology. Very interesting. We will see how it takes off. I'm sure it might. <laughs> Reverend Liz Clutterbuck, thank you. Thank you.